welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Max and I have been in Cape Town for the last three months and I want to give you all the information that you need to climb Lion's Head. Make sure you stick around to number five because it's really important that you know before you do the hike. So let's jump into it. Starting with number one. Lion's Head is about 10 to 15 minutes away from the center of Cape Town and there are a few ways to get there. I used an Uber and that cost me about 60 to 70 rand and that is about £2.50 to three British pounds. But you can also get a guided tour or get the My City bus if you're on a budget. And it is 100% free to hike Lion's Head. There's no entrance fees or anything. The Uber just dropped me off and I'm nearly there. I just need to walk to the entrance now. But you can see Table Mountain here. How sick is that? It's madness. And look at this view. You can see the whole of Cape Town. Number two. I started at midday, but after some further research and talking to some people, the best time to go is 30 minutes before sunrise or around two hours before sunset but it can be a little bit sketchy climbing down in the dark and it'll take about one to two hours to get up and the same to get down depending on your pace oh wow so look at this view so you can see the whole of cape town you got the bay there that's where they do the king of the air it's just about there and then you've got table mountain and then you've got the sea on the other side that is so beautiful and then we're going up there let's do it if you're enjoying this video why don't you check out the full video where i climb lion's head i'll put it in the description number three make sure you check the weather forecast because you want to go on a clear day with not so many clouds and not so much wind because if there are a lot of clouds you're not going to see much but be aware if there is not many clouds and there's no wind, it can be quite warm. All right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. Look at this. Look at the people standing on the edge. Okay, so the Lion's Head Summit is actually over there, but I want to climb on these rocks. All right, sick. check this out. This is sick. I'm on a big rock on the side of the mountain. It's madness. You definitely would not want to fall down there. Yeah, man. Look how beautiful it is. And then Lion's Head Peak is just up there. So we'll go there now. You can see people right on the top. And that leads us into number four. Make sure you have suitable shoes because at the top you do have to do some climbing. And some other essentials are sun cream, water, some snacks, a hat, and a phone, just in case for emergencies. All right, we're still going. Now there's not steps anymore. It's just like rock, but it's working well. We're getting there. Whew. View from the other side now. We've done a ring around. All right, I'm gonna have a little break. Have a chill out, oop. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. I reply to every single comment. So I've chilled out, had a drink, and now let's carry on. I have to say, this is one of the best views I've ever had. Check this. Like, man, perfect. Number five, how hard is it? Because I've watched some videos saying it's really easy. I've watched some videos saying it's super duper hard. And my honest opinion is it's not super easy because you do have to do some climbing on the last 30%. But if you are reasonably fit, you can do it. And just take your time. My friend took his mum up there and with some help, she did it. The main thing is make sure you have some good shoes on because it can be a bit slippery. If you do this hike, I definitely recommend doing it with people. Everyone I spoke to said definitely do it with someone. But I mean, it's the middle of the day, so it should be okay. Oh, it's definitely getting steeper now. You have to actually really climb. If you're getting some value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to join me on my journey. I post every week. All right, so there's chains to hold on to. Hopefully we don't fall. <laughs> It'd be peak to fall down there. 
from here you can see where we started from it was that car park there so you go from there all the way around and then back here number six make sure you take your time there is no rush and there are so many nice places to chill out on the way and admire the view just make sure you do not leave any rubbish because there is a lot of wildlife up there and try to stay on the trails as much as possible because the slopes are prone to erosion and efforts are underway to fix it all right so we're actually nearly at the top now we climbed up them ladders and then we've just got this to go so you climb up here then you're at the top the indigenous people of the cape peninsula believe that lion's head is a sacred place and they believe that the spirits of their ancestors reside there and the really nice thing is that once you get to the top it is relatively flat so you can chill out have a picnic and take in the amazing views it is honestly one of the most incredible places i have ever been it is actually sick up here it's so cool climbing up yeah man Lion's Head is 669 metres tall, that's 2,195 feet above sea level. One thing that I learned when I'm doing this research for the video, that they actually do full moon hikes, offering breathtaking views under the moonlight. That'd be really cool, I would like to have done that, but you definitely need to be in a group. 100% you can't do that alone. All right, so I made it to the top. You can see Table Mountain right next to us. It's so cool. There's clouds coming up. So we're actually inside the clouds. They also launch paragliding from Lion's Head. I don't know where they land. I think they may land on the beach. I'm not sure. I hope you know what you need to do to climb Lion's Head now. And if you got some value out of this video, why don't you like, comment, subscribe. I'm also going to be doing the same style of video for climbing Table Mountain and everything you need to know before you come to Cape Town because it is really important. Also, check out the full video here where I climb Lion's Head.